Hey everybody, welcome to a time dropping NFL sports productions video. This video, we're going to be talking about the free agent running backs of 2021. These running backs will be free agents after this season. A lot of them will get franchise tagged because that's usually how running backs work. But some of them have already been franchise tags and are likely to become unrestricted or get extended. These running backs are Derrick Henry, Dalvin Cook, Alvin Kamara, Aaron Jones, Joe Mixon, Kenyon Jake, Todd Gurley, Leonard Fournette, James Conner, Matt Breida, Philip Lindsay, Kareem Hunt, James White, Tariq Cohen, Marlon Mack, and others. That's from Field Yates' Twitter that I took that from. And oh, there's a lot of good backs. I'd say the elite class. These are the class of the people that a lot of teams will pay, but they are still running backs, so they could not get paid. Derrick Henry, Dalvin Cook, Alvin Kamara are elite backs, in my opinion. And I think they're going to be like blue chip free agents that everyone, or not everyone, but a lot of teams are going to be trying to get. Teams with cap are going to be trying to sign just like Le'Veon Bell a few years ago. Although all three of these guys, I think, have better resumes going into next year. And then there's the other guys who are very good. Two of these guys, I'm going to say. These are the players who aren't as replaceable as most running backs are. These running backs to me are Aaron Jones and Joe Mixon. I think they're not easily replaceable like most running backs are and they're very successful on their teams and then there's the above average backs of this class in this class i'm going to put Kenyon drake leonard fournette todd Gurley, and kareem hunt todd Gurley, i think will fall off after this year because he's getting a little older he has arthritis and everything he's getting a lot of carries so i think by next year todd Gurley will drop down a tier but just as of now he's in that above average tier to me him, Kenyon Drake, Leonard Fournette, and even Kareem Hunt, who I'm higher on than most people. And then there's the replaceable backs that are still productive, which is like James Conner, James White, Marlon Mack. And then there's really replaceable guys like Tariq Cohen, Matt Breida, Philip Lindsay. All these guys are quality backs, but the ones in the first two groups of top five, Derek Henry, Dalvin Cook, Alvin Kamara, Aaron Jones, and Joe Mixon are gonna be the main guys that a lot of teams are going to have to want and hopefully for their their sakes not a lot of people people are going to be out there on the market because if all five of these guys are out on the market they're all going to pay less say only two of these guys are out on the market next year they're all going to get paid way more so i'm just gonna hope that for their sake and their money that only a few of them are hitting free agency and the rest get extended but just for now, I think we should rank them just to get a sense of how we think this next offseason will play out. Just assuming all of these guys are free agents. I'd rank D D uh, Dalvin Cook first because he's younger, has less carries, and he's still electric when he's on the field, although he's injury prone. Second, I'm ranking Derrick Henry. I think he's slightly behind Dalvin Cook. I think these two are pretty interchangeable, though, at one and two. And then I think the clear number three is Alvin Kamara. He was good a few he was really good a few years ago. He kind of struggled last year to find the end zone. Found it a lot at the end of the season, but that was after a lot of the fantasy guys found him useful. So he was a big fantasy bust last year, although he was still productive in real life as the Saints were still productive. And then at fourth, I'm gonna put Aaron Jones. I think by this time next year, Joe Mixon will be considered better than Aaron Jones just because of his progression and everything. But for now, I'm keeping Aaron Jones at four and putting Joe Mixon at five. We're gonna be ranking the top 10 or so out of this class. And at, uh, we're at six now. At six, I'm gonna put Leonard Fournette. I think he was really good his rookie year. He was really good the next year. He kinda wasn't that good last year. He was banged up and everything, but I think he's better than the other two. And then after that, I'm putting Kareem Hunt. I think everyone's underrating Kareem Hunt because of his situation where he got cut and everything. So I think Kareem Hunt needs to be higher than a lot of people are giving him credit for. I think Kareem Hunt goes into the seventh spot here. Then I'm putting Kenyon Drake at eight. I think he was good, really good last year with the Cardinals after his trade, but I just can't trust someone as a running back who hasn't produced that much during his career. After that, this is our ninth guy. I'm putting James White. As much as people say he can only receive and everything, he's a really good, really, really, really good receiving back. Tom Brady showed it. I don't know if he'll be as productive with Cam Newton because Cam Newton, his Tom Brady's first check 
after getting no one open downfield just to throw to the running back. But Cam Newton might try to run more, so I think his stats might go down, but he'd still be very productive on a team like the Buccaneers or a team where a quarterback likes to get the ball into his running back's hands if he's getting sacked or if no one's open downfield. And at number 10, I'm putting Todd Gurley. A lot of people, I think, are going to say James Conner, but I think Todd Gurley is severely underrated. He can get into the end zone still, although he might not break off those 25 carry, 160 yard games like he used to. I think he's still getting those touchdowns and he's still going to produce for your fantasy team. So keep drafting him. I think next year, I think Derrick Henry is going to be the top free agent guy because Dalvin Cook is very injury prone. I could see him getting injured again this year, but let me know who you think the best player in this class is and let me know if you have any disagreements on the top 10. Thanks for watching.